Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, it was a pretty cold and gloomy day from really start to finish until uh, the last few minutes. We had a little bit of brief sunshine just before sunset and notice even off in the distance, we are starting to see a little bit of clearing. So as we move into the early morning hours, we're going to get back to clear skies and some very chilly temperatures. Once we lose that blanket, our cloud cover, well, those temperatures are going to plunge. And yes, we're talking the possibility of a light freeze for some locations, mainly north of the I-10, I-12 corridor, the chance for some patch frost and then we get some sunshine and we watch those winds shift and we slowly begin to rebound as we make our way into the weekend. It's now 45 degrees outside. It feels like 37 out there. We've got those winds out of the west. Pretty brisk at 22 miles per hour. A very chilly evening ahead of us. I don't expect the winds to die down until tomorrow morning. 45 at this hour, 44 in Jackson right now sitting in the upper 30s across northwestern portions of the state. But as you see here, we get a little bit of clearing and then those temperatures quickly plunge into the lower 30s by morning. If we get that clearing a little bit earlier in the evening, well, yeah, we could be sitting just around that freezing mark as you step out the door. So please make sure you dress nice and warm. Again, I don't want you to get caught off guard. So near freezing for tonight, we get back to beautiful conditions over the weekend with some sunshine and next week, well, once again, we look for more rain as we fall into a wet pattern. As you see here, that cold front continues to dig further and further south into the Gulf of Mexico, driving all these showers up the East Coast. Another violent day for the Carolinas all the way down into Florida. For us, a little bit of cloud cover, but as you notice, those clouds are rapidly clearing a few miles to the west over in Texas. Doppler radar just showing you nice and quiet for the time being. Clouds clear early, very frigid, but temperatures start to rebound as we get that wind shift and we'll start to warm up. That process will continue throughout the entire weekend by the time we roll into Sunday. Our daytime highs will be sitting in the 70s out there. We may see a few passing clouds and maybe a very quick shower heading into the midday hours of Saturday, but I'm going mainly dry throughout the weekend and then we get back to those showers and thunderstorms heading in early next week. Tonight, 33 degrees outside. Look for those clouds to clear by morning. Just a cold night with the possibility of some frost. Remember also that we've partnered up with iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go. And here is that extended forecast for you. Your first three, 63 down to 44. Climbing to 67 with some sunshine on Saturday. Nice and dry, very comfortable. 73 going into your Sunday by Monday. We're talking 76 out there with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. More storms expected on Tuesday. And then eventually another cold front by the end of next week could once again drop our temperatures back to winter like. I would say that winter like feel will return to the area. In fact, we may even see more 30s as we enter the weekend at this point. So just be well aware of that. And just also remember to check your BP. It was so cold today. I just have to say I'm one of those wimps. I could never make it somewhere where like snows all the time. I'm <laughs> definitely a warmer person. Yeah, so you're this little cold snap cold came, okay. out, all right. came out of nowhere. <laughs> I right. like the cold snap and it doesn't last long here in South Louisiana. That's you know, you get Just one here, you get one there and we know what happens the rest of the year. <laughs> All right, Jesse, thank you. Coming up next, we're going to check in with Brian Hall and he has a look at your Go Nation sports report.